the winter project the mystery engine I'm calling mine the mystery engine it's not a new idea done before however I really think if I can do this and I'm not saying it's easy if I can do it it's going to be fun to take shows next year so that for me is worth doing worth having to go I might not do it uh, Jonathan chose how to do it last year and before I knew him you know I thought we were a good long line mate like you know I uh, I thought god that's a cool idea I wouldn't mind doing that and I've been after an engine an upright one for a long while I can get lawnmower engines I've had plenty of those given me but anyway this one look as you can see it's been sat a long while that's got a bit of compression actually so I suppose that's a start <laughs> anyway um, the first thing you've got to do is get it running and uh, I can't even check the spark because the recoil if you can see that no, the cogs are stuck you know it wants oil in something so we've got to deal with that anyway and this covers off is this cover off I think yeah the covers off Mm, a lot of spiders and that one. We'll not worry about that today anyway. So, uh, someone's obviously had a look at this. It used to run, I know that much. Got a bit of compression, so... What we've got to do is get that going. Right, and what the plan is... <laughs> I've got to make it run without a spark plug and without a carburetor, maybe. But definitely without a spark plug. Well, I actually think I can do that. Jonathan showed us the way he did it. Um, I think I know of another way, which I may try. But as to running without a carburetor, well, I'm not 100% sure I can do it. And I'm not too worried. But if I only. Because, I mean, it's, you know, people will be able to see how it's done and they'll know how it's done. But I honestly think it'll be a bit of fun, you know, if we if we get to track shows next year to do that. So, as I say, I'm calling this the mystery engine, right? <laughs> Quite some mystery how it works. And so, uh, if we can do it. But this is what I wanted to do this winter. Right? Nothing else. Anyway. Now, just to show you me a quick end, and this is the end, trust me, to this thing. I have got it finished. And it's useless. Right? That's the fourth block I've made. Even this one had a problem. I uh, I measured it and cut it and everything else. And when I cut it off, I had plenty left as well. And when I cut it off, I went through the top. So I've just stuck a coin on, you know. Anyway, because it won't run. It's miles too stiff, you know. And if it does run, what's the point? You know, so I've spent, what? I'm also wasted time because it's past the time. But it's not as anything. It definitely won't run. That's all wobbly. The flower wheel's not heavy enough. You know, there's a notchy bit inside there. It won't get past that. But it won't even turn around half a turn. Anyway, what? I haven't got a compressor. So when I did my other engine, which you've seen, which works, so I can do it, you know. And I had to work out all the timing and everything on that. I'll show you something before I finish this, but uh, it's never ever going to work, this isn't. Anyway, what I did, I'll just come back a little bit. You'll still be able to see, hopefully. I used a car tyre, so I ain't got a spare at the minute, so I brought my spare tyre out of the car. I've blown up to £40, which will be plenty. And 
but somewhere I just had it I will take the valve out because I haven't tried it with the valve out it won't make any difference I'm not worried about the tire going flat I've got a little tiny uh, can you see one of those blow up compressor things in my car just to blow the tire up I've tried a couple of times and, you know but this all I can say is if you're going to have a go well don't bother you know because uh, I'm not saying you can't do it, I'm not saying I couldn't do it. I can get a block of alley. I'll show you around it when I'm done anyway. So I'll show you what it does, which is not very much at all. Without letting all the air out of this tyre, I've got to take the valve. Which I've lost, not to worry. And I've got to put this on. What I've done. It does just kick round a quarter of a turn, right? But even if you help it up, I mean that was with 40 pounds to start with, no over, right? It does just kick it over a little bit at the bottom, or it did, with loads of pressure. So all I'm saying is, as far as I'm concerned, don't bother, I've lost that valve, but it doesn't matter. I've got to put this tyre back in my car because it's my spare. So, I just want to show you that. But, I have got it finished. You know, I don't give up. I think you know that. And I have got it finished. And if it was worth it, I can get it going. I've shown you my other one. It's in time. As good as it gets. What I did, a bit of my pipe, I just ground the end down and put it in the hole. And I don't know if you'll... No, you won't be able to see. I don't think you can see. But, uh, no, you won't be able to see. But, uh, I can assure you Let me just bring it ever so close. I'm trying to work everything out. I'm trying to get a bit of light on it. Move it better. Oh, just there. We had it. Where's the... Hmm. Can't hold it still enough, that's the problem. I'm ever so close to it. But, no, you won't be able to see. Anyway, um, you'll have to take it from me that those holes line up. Um, if I get a tiny drill, I wonder if I can show you this way. There we are. That's not lined up, look. Now the block wants to be that way at 90 degrees. Where's the thing? There. So, this is the exhaust, of course. Look, it lines up. So it's not that uh, I've made a mess of drilling. Right? The whole thing is notchy. It wants a flywheel twice as heavy. Um, it's just not going to work. That's it. So, like I said... If, you, if you've got nothing to do and you want to have a play and you've loads of stock and a good, uh, you know, drill by all means have a go. If you want to have a bit of fun and try and make something that looks something like oh, by all means have a go. But if you want to make a little working model steam engine well, don't bother. Right, because you're not going to do it. I've spent six days on this. Like I said, I could do. If I get a bit of aluminium stock and some proper bright steel. To start us, that's loose. That look, there's nothing wrong in that bit. I've oiled it. Not much, too much play 
you know, that's all right. This is binding a bit, but the worst thing is the cylinder. Now, those two blocks that I used, um, what I did, the extra bit that I had, you remember these, uh, these split, didn't they? Let me come behind the camera so I can show you. Those two split, didn't they? When I tried drilling it, they split. The glue gave way. And my mate Adam is just commented, he says, well, why didn't you grip it? So I did. And I'm looking for me mole grips that I've just had. Anyway, I put it in me vice in the drill and I put the mole grips on like that. Quite tight. And I drilled the hole and I took it to bits and it fell to pits. That's that one. Right. And that's the fourth one block I've done. Remember, I did this one which I can't get flat and the piston was too sloppy that when I drilled it I had problems to get it straight because my drill isn't what I did I used that in the drill alongside the block I'll show you with this one like that right so I got the hole on the face that it goes on which is that face I actually got the hole parallel that way. This won't go in there, of course. But I got the hole parallel that way. Right? The other way doesn't matter, as I've told you. Right, so there we go. Enough of that. Right? As I say, I haven't given up. You've seen that. I finished it. But without another couple of weeks of work. Oh, I've seen my mole grips. Now I've found them. They're on the battery. Look. <laughs> just looking for my mole grips there they are they're holding the uh, compressor on the battery right anyway so I've had no interest in, in making this I'll be honest I don't see the point but each to his own so there you go so anyway this is my project so the next thing is um Take the recoil off and sort that out is the first job, obviously. And see if we've got a spark. That's the first thing I've got to do. If there isn't a spark, well, we're going to have to find coils and things. So that'll be a big old up. And then the next thing is get it running as it is. It hasn't been run for a long while, as you see. So, uh, apparently it's... Uh, got a good petrol tank on because they rust out so I've got saved that it says but we won't need it hopefully we may we don't know anyway that's what you've got to look forward to and it's what I've got to look forward to because as I said you know I've really been wanting to do this whether I'll be able to or not is another matter obviously but uh, I'm going to have a go right we'll leave it at that and uh, there may be other diversions on the way you know it depends how old up we get but uh, we'll see weather as well obviously right see you soon and don't forget have fun <laughs> <laughs>